We're running out of room to put all the plastic. Trash and plastic and wrappers. Illegal fishing practices. Endangered species. Habitat destruction. Cutting down trees maybe in the, uh, in the forest. Resource exploitation. Keeping the ocean clean. The protection of waterways and lakes and rivers. Beach cleanup. Global warming. Global warming. Global warming. I've only really become so aware recently through classes like AP Bio and AP Comparative Government. We learn a lot about like the environment, how to, how to help it. I'm in environmental science and I'd say that that has helped me to think of more precisely what actually happens and how my actions can cause that and so I try to stay away from things that can have those negative impacts. I've learned exactly what each type of pollutant does to the environment and that makes me even more conscious of what I'm doing. From a young age you're taught to like recycle and you know treat the earth very well but then in AP Enviro it teaches you why and like the actual consequences and the facts about it and it's really interesting. At our school we have you know volunteer service days where we go out and you know we clean the beach we make sure there's no trash in the ocean we garden for people and we recycle every day and so just some of the little things that can clean the environment for us. I think that we get stuck in our routine and I think that we don't realize what we're doing can damage the earth and I think if you take even just a few days to think about it and realize how much we use and how much waste we produce and what it's doing to our environment I think it's really important. It's our home, and if you're not taking care of your home, it's not going to be the best place to live. So I think it, it it's less about the, I mean, it's yes, it's about the earth, but it's also related back to us. Like, we are the ones who are going to benefit from helping the earth. Everything that we hold dear happened on planet Earth, and that's why it's important to take care of it. Because the only place we live is the only place that humans can enjoy life, and, you know, we, we should be able to share it with our children, our grandchildren, and, you know generations to come so we should be able to take care of it the way it should be. People need to understand that they have an impact on the earth and every single thing that they do. Even like the littlest thing can have a bigger impact on you know all organisms in the environment so it's really not just us everything else is living off the same stuff and we have to do everything we can to protect everything else in the environment. I'm really passionate about like endangered species okay. um, just because I think I mean with the urbanization in the world so many species are getting like pushed aside and it's very important to keep them alive and plus they're fun to look at and yeah. it makes, makes the world a little more exciting. The best that nature has to offer us is incomparably better than anything humans can ever make in terms of beauty. We've made beautiful paintings that say Starry Night, but it's nothing to compare with the Zion National Park or the Grand Canyon. Humans try to mimic the, the beauty of nature, but even though we're striving for it, we've never accomplished something that beautiful. Nature needs to be protected in the same way that we would protect a museum painting. I really like the idea of promoting like education about the environment because there's a lot of young children who don't understand they're just taught like in verbatim the lessons but not why and like how it can relate back to them so I love the idea of promoting that in schools.